Hi, this is Gary Tonicua from morethanasnapshot.com. In this lesson, we're going to talk about Photoshop workspaces. Photoshop workspaces can help set you up with different palettes to make your work easier. So the first thing you need to know is one place you can find them is this little pull-down menu right here. And you have some pre-made. So things like Essentials will give you just the basic palettes that you need to work with. And then we have things for specialty uh, types of work like 3D design. And then we have motion for making GIFs or video. And then we have painting, so it gives you all of your brush setups. And photography, this is the one that I would typically use because I, I do a lot of photography. Typography, if you were going to be putting lots of text into a design. And then, of course, there is a reset function. If you make a change to one of these basic panels, you can hit reset to start back the way it originally was. Or you can create your own custom workspace. Or you can even delete a workspace. So, let's take a look. First, we'll take a look at Essentials. And when you look at a palette, there, there are little arrows and buttons that can move them in and out. And then there are always options, and there are different options for every palette. So going over every option is not really going to help us in this case. Every palette has its own different options. All right. If your palette is getting in your way, oops, you can try right-clicking on it, and then click Auto Collapse Iconic Palettes, Panels, I mean. And then when you click somewhere on the image, it automatically puts the palette away. So that helps keep the palettes out of your way when you're working on an image. So I find that helpful to do. All right, when working with palettes, if you want to add or subtract items from a palette, you can do that. Let's look at first adding an item. Click on Window, and then you can click on any one of these options here. If I click on color, you can see the color palette was already there. So let's try something that uh, was not. Let's say device preview. So now that that's there, if I decide I don't want it to be there, I can click on it, drag it out, and then click the little X, and that takes it away. Let me go back and put it back in, device preview. If it's not docked in this little panel, I can simply click and drag and dock it into the panel. And now I've made a change to my workspace. I had the 3D workspace going on. If I like what I've done to set up this workspace, all I have to do now is save it as a new workspace. So I go to Window, Workspace, and then New Workspace. I'll call this workspace Practice. And if I wanted keyboard shortcuts or menus, I could check these options, but I'm just going to say OK for save for this one. And now I have my own custom practice workspace. If I decide later on that I don't want that workspace to be there, I simply have to make sure I start off by being on a different workspace. I can't be on the one that I want to delete. Then I come back here to delete workspace. And it gives me an option of what I want to delete, except you cannot delete the active workspace that you're currently on. So I want to delete practice, so I'll make sure practice is highlighted, and then click delete, and then it'll ask me, do you really want to delete this? And I'll say yes. And you'll see here that practice is now gone. So working with these workspaces is very helpful because you can set up exactly what panels and options you need to do the work you want to do. So give that a try, and if you like this video, please like it and share it, and visit morethanasnapshot.com.